Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got one from Neil deGrasse Tyson. Ah, okay. One of the smartest men on the planet. Yes, yes, yes. Smartest scientist that I, you know, that I think I can understand. Absolutely. What we got? This is him addressing the uh, conspiracy theory that the moon landing was fake. Ah, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? We've, we've, you know, talked about the topic a lot, you know what I'm saying, on if whether, you know, we landed on the moon or if we believe that the, you know, the moon landing was fake. I thought it was, we should get a, a scientist here to see his opinion. Absolutely. Or this, he's probably going to debunk it, I imagine he believes. <laughs> right. You know what I'm here is take. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Vlad TV. For everyone that says that the the 1970s moon landing was fake, that it was done in a Hollywood studio somewhere. What do you say to them? Well, I have several replies. One of them is, isn't it amazing that our technological and scientific achievements are so great that members of the civilization that created it are in denial of it? <laughs> what a compliment to how far that technology has come. Nice. What a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you for the compliment. That, that, it's, that it's mystery and magic to you done on a Hollywood set. What a, what a compliment that is. But <laughs> two other re responses. So this is a joke, actually. This next one is a joke, but it's, it's a fun joke. So, uh, so NASA goes to Hollywood, and they say, okay, we, we got it fake this moon landing. So what, what will it require? Yeah. And they said, well, we got to do this and we got to, we have to actually have a launch. All right. Cause people see the launch and we got to do this. Right. We got to have a set and we have to evacuate it. And so that the dust falls quickly and have to put them on point joists so that they look like it's not, it's, it's not regular gravity. And, and we, but we did all this research and we, we concluded that this, what's way simpler than that is to film it on location. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they filmed it on location. They, they, they faked it on location. All right. So the, the third one is um, there's 10,000 scientists and engineers, plus, plus or minus a few thousand. There's, you saw the launch. You can calculate how much fuel is in that rocket. The rocket is 36 stories tall, and the astronauts are up here. And the rest of that is fuel. Mm -hmm. It's a controlled bomb, basically. And they're right here. All right. And then they launch. And we have warehouses of engineering drawings trying to get the Saturn V off the ground. And all of the, the, the preliminary ones, you've seen the videos of rockets exploding on the launch pad. Thankfully, no one was aboard. They were test runs. So all of this is happening leading up to the Saturn V rocket. So there it is. I would submit to you that to fake all of that would require so much effort that you might as well just do it, okay? And calculate how much fuel this is. That's enough fuel to go into orbit, go to the moon, orbit the moon, come back to Earth. That's how much fuel is actually in the rocket. And it launched. Where do you think it was going? To like the, the, the piggly wiggly? The, to get groceries? Where do you think this rocket was going? I'm sorry, I'm screaming at you here, sorry. One thing that all conspiracy theorists have in common, all of them, mm -hmm. is they already know the answer that they want. Mm -hmm. And where they don't have data to support it, they invoke a cover-up. Mm -hmm. And that enables them to gap across places that they cannot otherwise support with data. I had a friend who, a full grown man, otherwise rational, said to me, Neil, I don't, you know, I've read the websites that, uh, that doubt that we landed on the moon and they're pretty convincing to me. But if you tell me that we landed on the moon, I'll believe you. And I said, it has nothing to do with my authority over information about what you should believe. It was interesting because he respected me enough that my simple statement would over I, I asked him 
What evidence do you seek that would have you believe that we landed on the moon? So if we had photos of the landing sites, because you can't do that from Earth, because the, through the atmosphere, the resolution is not fine enough to see that. But I, we, the Japanese have sent satellites that orbited the moon, and reconnaissance satellites, they got, I said, um, there's this satellite, and, uh, and four years ago, whenever I had this conversation with him, it got images, and you can see the landing site, you can see the tracks from the rover, and you can see the, all right? And he said, okay, so he goes. And the next day, he said, Neil, I saw that website, and, but I noticed that the NASA logo was also on that website, along with the Jap JAXA, all right? <laughs> and so I don't know if I can trust it. I said, you asked me what evidence would convince you. I just presented you that evidence, and you're not convinced. There's nothing more this conversation can do. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't, you, there's, yeah, we're done here. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. It was funny that his friend said, you know, if you say, if Neil, if Neil, if Neil uh, DeGrease Tyson says that we landed on the moon, that he'd be like, all right, we landed on the moon. Just because, you know, he's a very intelligent and intellectual individual. So, you know. Well, I mean, I wouldn't like, uh, I wanted to hear him on this because I thought he was going to say something, you know, that was some, something convincing. <laughs> that would make me be like, oh, yeah, yes, well, that's right. See, it seems like, it seems like, that if we theorize the situation of landing on the moon, then I mean, yeah, there's a whole bunch of theories that could possibly happen. But what we are led to believe, you know, from NASA and all these other places is that it actually did happen. So, you know, I guess until, hey, you know, know what I mean? Um, it's like a contrary I think the, belief at this point. The main thing, I mean, he, he you know, there's like, a lot, there's a lot the of people things, that yeah. have landed on the moon possibly have lost some credibility. You know what I mean? With some information, at least, at least from some, from, from what some people that are into this type of thing, you know, are constantly. Well, I'm just saying, like, you know um, what I mean, I'm just saying, like, uh, maybe that's where the theorists. Come I think from, that uh, come from that uh, you know, the main thing that I the que the one of the main questions I have is like, why haven't we been back? 1970. Like mid seventies, I think is the last time we went, or maybe early seventies. Mm -hmm. Is the last time we went. Why haven't we been back? Like, what's what's the deal? Like, what? Why haven't we? And now there's a push right now, you know, two thousand twenty five to get back to the moon. But I mean, it's been like it's right. been fifty years. Right. You know, why haven't we? And some people say we've, you know, we're, we, you know, you know, you watch some like interviews and shit from right. astronauts, and they'll be like, you know, we we wasn't able to go to the moon because of the um, fuck. What is it called? I don't know, I'm going to get the Van Halen belt or something. <laughs> like a okay. like a field of radiation that we would have to pass through that we couldn't have. Okay, okay. So, I mean, it's, it's a whole bunch of shit. It's not just, um, right. you know, seeing pictures of the, or seeing satellite imagery of the of the landing site. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would convince me. Right. I think it's a lot more, but I mean. Yeah. yeah it would have been, nice been, nice been nice to hear if he believed that we did it or not. Well, he, he believes we landed on the moon. That nigga right. believes we landed on the moon. Okay. But I mean, it's, you know, of course he's he has to believe that. <laughs> this nigga's a he's a decorated scientist. This nigga's gonna lose a whole. He's, he if he if if Neil deGrasse Tyson came out and said we didn't land on the moon, I think he would lose a whole a whole lot of credibility. <laughs> so I think he's he's locked into his um <laughs> into that opinion. I think he's also locked into like I've heard him on like aliens. I don't think he believes in aliens either. Hmm. So I was like, damn, yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. definitely an interesting mind. Oh, yeah, he's, he's yeah, yeah. probably the smartest black man. <laughs> smartest black man on the stars. <laughs> smartest black man on space, I would say. <laughs> uh, maybe not on math and shit, but in politics, <laughs> but space, yeah.